Kennesaw State University has emerged as a leading institution of higher education within the state of Georgia, one that understands the importance of engaging students and fellow citizens with our increasingly interconnected global economy and community. Although our campus is located in Kennesaw, Georgia, our classroom is the world. President Muhammad's presence here today is a striking illustration of this idea as well as the ideal to which we aspire. We are also especially pleased because President Muhammad's visit marks the first time that a sitting head of state has visited KSU. And this is occurring in our 50th year. It is a humbling moment for me to address this gathering today on the role of democratic governance and sustainable economic development in Ghana as the country continues to distinguish itself as a model for the continent. I salute the rich history of this great university as well as its sustained effort in pushing the edges and consolidating the liberal values of American society. For far too long, Africa has been discussed in both academic and policy discourse with pity and extreme pessimism. As a historian, I'm intimately aware of the capacity of historical narrative to define or redefine, imprison or liberate a continent and its people. We must begin the project of scripting a true narrative of Africa that is liberating and progressive. Ghana is proud of the role it played in the African liberation process. And again, we're proud of the role we're continuing to play in the African Renaissance. What do you hope to achieve during your presidency, sir? What goals have you set? Um, I believe that I should leave Ghana a more prosperous country, a country in which our people can hold their heads high in decency and dignity to have taken as many people out of poverty and to have created a society in which all Ghanaians can take advantage of the opportunities that their nation has to offer. I believe that if that is achieved, I would leave uh, office a happy man.